at some point you may be interested in generating real estate statistics in matrix now i don't know about you but i see the word stats and i run away because i think i gotta break out a calculator into a bunch of math but matrix actually makes it pretty easy to generate some really good looking statistics right in the system and it doesn't require a lot of effort now there are a couple ways to go about generating stats in matrix when i click on the stats button up at the very very top of matrix it's going to bring me to some criteria here the way stats work in matrix is it functions very similar to doing a search in matrix you put in the criteria that you want to use but instead of getting the list of results like the list of properties that meet the criteria you're going to get the statistics of the results instead but one of the things you will notice when you come in and do a stats search if you click on the stats tab is there isn't a ton of criteria in here but you still have every field you can ever use in matrix it just doesn't have everything built in here I can always go in and add additional fields if I want to. I can use the map if I want to here. And when I put in my basic criteria, I just specify the property type and then I can generate which statistic I want to see. For example, I could say I'm looking for properties in Orlando, uh, residential properties uh, under 200,000. And once I put in my criteria, I could go here, choose, well, based on this criteria, what's your original price versus sold price? Or I can use the map here if I wanted to. When I go to the map, I can go in, draw a rectangle, radius, or polygon uh, around a specific address if I want to using the locate option here. So I've got my map tools. I've got a very similar set of tools that I would if I was doing a search in matrix here. But it doesn't look like you got a lot built in. But here's how it would work. So I go in, I click on the statistic I want, and then when I click on generate, it would then take me to the statistic here. Now, don't think that you're limited just to what you see on the screen because you can go in and you can customize this. And the Stats of Matrix has a lot of customization that you can do. So I can go in here and customize. I could change the time frame that I want to see these stats in. So I can go year to date, past 12 months, any uh, specific year going back to 2011, past 10 years. I could customize the time frame here if I want to. And what I would recommend here is when you choose one of these presets here, just get something that's close to what you want. Because when you go to customize, you could change the primary statistic versus the second st secondary statistic whenever you want. And it, there's a lot more options in here, more combinations of what it looks like when you look at presets here. I could change the chart type. I can make them columns, lines if I want to. Anytime I make a change, Keep in mind, you're going to have to click on generate and it's going to change that to a line or whichever one you want here. I can group these different ways. I can group them by month, price, year, sale price if I want to. I also have some style options here. So when I go in and I generate these statistics, I can say uh, I want to change the color palette. Maybe I don't like this blue and this green, that's the default. Maybe I want to change this to something a little brighter, I'll do pastels or something like that. But remember, anytime you make a change to your statistics, you're going to click on generate. And it's got a lot of different options here, different color schemes to so go in and play with these, see which one catches your eye. You could change the fill style here. By default, it's plain, but I could change these into like cylinders, so it looks a little fancier. Uh, emboss, light to dark, or wedge here. You'll go in and look at those. If I wanted to display the actual values on the chart, I can click on the little uh, display values checkbox, and when I generate it back in, it would show me the actual values here. If you're concerned about the numbers, in addition to the chart, you also have the data, the actual hard numbers up here, if you want to see those, and those can be exported. So I'm going to go back to my chart here. And one last option I have is the ability to generate this as a 3D style chart, which is going to turn this as an angle. I can reverse it back to front if I want to, but when I click on generate, it's going to turn it sideways and show me the, uh, the, the cylinders here at an angle. So you can get as plain with this or as fancy with this as you'd like. So I would recommend to go in and play with this a little bit. But if I don't want to see one of these default presets, I don't have to. And I don't have to start from scratch every time I come in here and generate real estate statistics and matrix. When I go to customize, let's say I change something. I don't want the original uh, price. I want the original price averages. 
Well, if I go in and I start making changes to this and I click on generate here, I can go in and I can save this and I can give it a name. It's very similar to searching, uh, setting up like a search template in Matrix. It's like a stats template. So when I go here to save, I can give this a name. And I can save this as a preset. I can even stick this on a widget on the home page. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the criteria. Maybe this is something I do quarterly. Maybe I run this search every once in a while. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on my widget as well. So we'll call it, uh, we'll just call it advanced matrix stats. And I'll go ahead and save this as a copy. And now this will be available not only here under my, my presets here, whenever I run a stat in the future, if I have room on my home page, I do have a widget for stats. Okay. And all I have to do is click on it and generate it or change it if I need to here. So you guys can set your own statistical templates if you want and notice how it's named up here. So this does require a little bit of hands-on, get in there and play with a little bit. Once you generate the statistics, you can email them to somebody. Uh, that would be sent out as a direct email to one of your customers in your contact list. They'll also have this backed up on their customer portal, or you can print out a, a copy of this if you want to. I can right click on the image if I want to and save the picture if I want to. Maybe put this in my own uh, marketing here. Keep that in mind. And remember, I can always grab the data from here as well. Now, as an added bonus, when you're in matrix here remember i'm going to go back here to the just the general stats tab remember you don't have a lot of search criteria in here technically you have everything you have in matrix but at first glance you have to go in and pick like the property type and all that and if i wanted to i would have to go in and add bedrooms and bathrooms and all that stuff if i wanted to here because this is considered a cross property search which means you can look across all property types if you are already set on what kind of property type you want to use you can actually generate these same statistics right from your search in matrix so when i go here to search and i open up a search i can put in whatever criteria i want however i'm used to searching so let's say we want to go in and do a search here on pool homes in orlando and we want to make sure that they have four or more bedrooms, two or more bathrooms, and they got to be single family homes here. So I can already use the criteria that I am familiar with. And when I go to the results of the search, as long as I don't check any of these, I can go right down here in my actions to stats and it would transfer this. If I go to charts here, it would actually transfer these search criteria into the stats tab. So everything I put in here is now included in my search. And then I could generate the original price versus sold price, list price to square foot ratio, or whichever one of these I want. I could customize it and do everything that I showed you earlier when we were originally looking at stats. So you've got two ways to do this. You can either go to stats, use the criteria that's in here, or when you do a search and you get your results, let me go back to my search results here. I can go to stats and I could send them out to the charts right here. If you're curious about what this other option is under tabular, uh, when I go to my results, if I just go to tabular, it's gonna crunch some very quick numbers for me. Group them by status, show me the min max average median values for the bedrooms, bathrooms, square foot heated, list price, list price per square foot, close price, selling price per square foot, days to close, uh, day, days on market, Camilo days on market, and the selling price to list price ratio here, and I could print it. So it just generates a very quick set of statistics. Also very similar to when I select these and I go to quick CMA. All right, so you've got all kinds of statistical options that you can use. Go in and play with stats. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the MLS support. Thank you for watching.